Hello, this is Jason Clement, Technical Sales Manager at Isonus, and welcome to the Certification Training Module. This module is an introduction to Isonus software. Our course objectives are Review what Peer Access Cloud is, Review objections to putting data in the cloud, Review the feature set of Peer Access, and Discuss Peer Access Manager. So what is Peer Access Cloud? It's the next generation fully hosted access control platform. It provides a 100% browser-based experience for both installation and administration. Provides cost-effective licensing sold through our certified integrators. You can access securely anytime, anywhere, from just about any device. Provides for unlimited access points across all geographies depending on your license. Finally, it's streamlined for installation and configuration. Peer Access Cloud licensing is an annual fee. Isonus takes care of all the updates and maintaining all the cloud infrastructure. Taking a look at the licensing structure, we have 1 to 5, 6 to 20, and 21 to 50 door or access point licenses in basic access control. Once you go over 50 doors, you have Active Directory integration and the peer access. If you have any questions as to what Active Directory is or how to configure it or what it looks like, you can refer to our Active Directory course for peer access on YouTube or on our online learning portal. Once you go over 251 doors, that's basically the unlimited license and you can add as many access points on there as you want. Finally, we have what we call our integrator RMR licensing with customer partitioning and additional add-ons to that integrator RMR license. What is the Peer Access Cloud Integrator License? Basically, each tenant is a unique end user in our system. When an integrator purchases this license, they can then resell each tenant to an individual end user in their system. Tenants cannot see each other's data. So for example, Acme Corp is a tenant in the system and XYZ Corp is a separate tenant in the system. They are unique and only they can administrate their own access points and users. Each tenant can have an unlimited number of access points. So again, Acme Corp may only have 10 access points, while XYZ Corp has 200 access points. We're not bound by the access point licensing that we are in individual tenant licenses that we just looked at in the last slide. The base integrator license comes with 25 tenants that they can add in. Once you hit the 25 tenant limit or you're coming close, you can purchase in another group of 25 tenants and so on and so forth to continue to grow your integrator license. This is perfect for integrators looking to expand their RMR offering. This gives the ability for an integrator to resell their tenants under their integrator license without having to maintain any servers or software or internet connectivity. Peer access is very easy to deploy and it's very easy to train staff to administrate. We'll take an overview of our peer access features, an easy to understand user interface and rule system for access. Access control software has been notoriously difficult to use over the past years. Peer access really simplifies it down for the end user and for the integrator to understand. An easy to use access point wizard when you're adding your RCO4s, peer IP, or PowerNet devices into the system. Customizable dashboards for viewing events and floor plans. A flexible custom rules engine for alerting and for various system triggers. Simplified reporting system with configurable scheduled reports. An alerting system to notify personnel of key events in the system and Active Directory and Milestone integration. So some customers will say, we don't use the cloud. The first question I always ask is, why don't you want to use cloud? They may or may not have a coherent answer. Sometimes they'll say, it's not secure. Actually, the cloud is potentially more secure than on-premise. Cloud services have a team of specialists ensuring the hardware and data is secure. The CIA uses Amazon Web Services and they have a lot of highly classified data that they're storing out in the cloud. Plus, the data is all encrypted. The data in the reader controller or IP bridge is encrypted and you can encrypt the communications between the device and the server itself. Some people will say, well, it's more expensive. Now I have to pay a yearly fee that I could just buy a small server and run the software on and call it good. 
Once you factor in all costs, including updates, power cooling, labor for maintaining the server and the software, it really becomes an expensive proposition over the long term. With Pure Access Cloud, there's an annual fee. You can also roll it into service contracts to ensure that the end user has no issues with hardware failures. So we've gone down the cloud route and the customer absolutely cannot put their data out in the cloud due to regulations or anything else. We can load Pure Access Manager on site. It is actually the exact same application as Pure Access Cloud just running inside the customer's network rather than out on the internet in Amazon Web Services. The one difference is that tenants are not available, so a company can't purchase Pure Access Manager and spin up their own cloud application. Pure Access Manager does run on Windows Server OS only. It can be virtualized, so Windows Server 2012 R2 or Windows Server 2016. It is a one-time software cost. Once you purchase the software, you can add an unlimited number of access points. You can add the Active Directory integration. You can add the Milestone integration. There's basically no caps on that. One caveat to that is there is a software upgrade plan. So if the customer wants to keep their software up to date when major revisions are released, they'll need to purchase that in one, two, or three year increments. Thank you for attending this course and we hope it was beneficial to you. Have a great day.